ready to pat, as we'll ever be. Godspeed, then, to you both. I trust your new quarters are more to your liking. General Todd, I hardly think it proper for you to be alone in a woman's quarters. Fortunately, madam, there lies a region in which I am well travelled. What is it you want? Merely to ask after your comfort. To the best of my knowledge, sir, you were once an officer in the British Army. It was the East India Company in which I served. But let's not split hairs over such trifling matters. Your point? My point, sir, is that if any vestige of gentlemanly conduct you must have absorbed while in British company remains, I would urge you to act upon it. Alas, madam, these past years I find I'm moved by impulses far more sub-equatorial. If I understood you were right the other evening, General, you made a gift of me to the Raja. What of it? Nothing. I am merely imagining his disappointment if you were to find that his gift had already been unwrapped. Then you better wish her health under his highness. For he'll take more care in its opening than I will. This is about far enough, Pat. It's only court round. Can they rouse men to see red courts? They'll shoot before they ask questions. We wouldn't want that to happen now, would we? Not with these jetty fellas to look forward to. She must be some looker. That's all I can say. All the trouble we're going to. Almost. The General's daughter. <laughs> Saving Celia Burroughs in the mission, Pat. We're going to Ferragot to stop a rebellion. You know as well as me, once the monsoon comes, that's it. Candy Rao can afford to sit tight in his fort and watch while Simerson's men starve for lack of supplies. Then, when he's got them on their own when they're retreating, he'll get his Pendari to hurry them all across the plains. You know that. So, wait a minute. You and me, we're, we're going to stop a rebellion, just the two of us? Well, I don't see no bugger else. Uh, yeah. Baba. That sounds just about right, just to, as long as you let me know. <laughs> <laughs> 